Nullify is a very interesting drug. It's, it's really quite different than any other antipsychotic. I mean, it almost seems too good to be true, okay? All antipsychotics do one thing, and that is they block dopamine receptors. The newer antipsychotics have effects on other kinds of receptors, especially a lot of serotonin receptors. With Abilify, if there's too much dopamine activity, then it will block the receptors and reduce psychotic symptoms. If there's not enough dopamine, which can happen sometimes in frontal lobes, you get a lot of people who have schizophrenia, for instance, and in later stages of the illness, it's not that they have active delusions and hallucinations, but they become uh, really uh, apathetic, uh, very empty. They're just lost souls, and, and, they don't, and they look like they have frontal lobe damage. Uh, it actually, uh, it, if there's decreased dopamine in synapses in, in the, in the uh, circuitry for frontal lobes, it actually increases the release of dopamine uh, in, in frontal lobes, and they actually perk up a little bit. So it's kind of like it's doing two different things depending on the amount of dopamine in the synapse. And it sound, it's looking like that's more than just marketing. There's something very unique about that. Uh, it's also been approved to augment uh, antidepressants like we talked about. Uh, however, <clears throat> you may have heard recently that there is this new warning. Report, I'm, I, I will read this to you, okay? Reports of increased impulse control problems. More likely if there's been a history of addictions, but we have things like gambling, sexual behavior, compulsive eating, and excessive shopping. Now, thank you to one of my favorite slides here. Have you ever tried buying lots of stuff? You know, it, it, may, <clears throat> it may be the shopping that actually does have some kind of therapeutic benefit for some people. So uh, anyway, it, re it remains to be seen about uh, uh, Abilify. Uh, the biggest problem with Abilify is it can cause akathisia. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with akathisia, it's an extrapyramidal side effect, and it is horrible. It's this inter intense internal restlessness, typically found uh, more, more so in the legs, and people can't sit still, and it, it's like anxiety times three. And so uh, I've had some patients that do extremely well on Abilify, but some people develop akathisia, and it can, and it can be a real, a real nightmare.